moments ago, Earth was invaded by supernatural beings from outer space, with first contact made in the nation's capital. Our reporter Kerry is live in Wellington. What can you tell us, Kerry? Thank you. I am Kerry, reporting live from Lampton Quay. As you can see, there is panic and terror in the streets as New Zealanders have woken up to find aliens throughout our towns and cities. These space invaders seem capable of destroying the country and the planet unless we give them what they want. The, the risk of harm is very real and... Are you there? We appear to have lost our signal. Now, in a bizarre exclusive, an alien has taken one of our reporters into their space vessel to broadcast their demands. Standing by is Yuvraj. What's happening there? Well, yes, it's very tense here. What we can tell you is that these alien creatures smell really, really awful. Like a mixture of pizza and garbage, sort of. It looks like that the aliens are about to address us through a special translation device. Let's hope I stay alive to hear that and pass it off Rock, people of Earth, listen carefully. We are the superior beings of the planet, my dad, from the Gangsi of a Drabunga. We demand from you humans the following things. In no particular order, I want a nunchuck. I would like a Batmobile. I want a father. And I want all your nuclear weapons. Well, there you have it. Are these demands reasonable? Is this the end of the human race? Make your voice heard on Twitter using the hashtag OMG Aliens. Currently, the government is preparing to make a statement, so we cross now to parliamentary reporter Nick. Thanks, Alia. Crowds have gathered here, but many are still on their way to work. Some people are quite unaware that aliens have invaded people. Wake up and be afraid. Here's the Prime Minister to address the nation. Tēnā koutou kato. People of New Zealand, this is your Prime Minister asking each and every one of you to remain calm. It is important that we do our best to make these space aliens feel welcome. We must display all friendly qualities that define us as New Zealanders. We will be holding a porphyry later today and I, then I will join the alien leaders in a helicopter tour of our beautiful country. Let's hope these beings spare us from destruction and move on to Australia. If you come across one of these creatures, we recommend that you hold your breath, smile and then run away quickly. In the meantime, go as business as usual, that is all. Thanks Prime Minister. Now where to from here? To help us answer this question, we've collected a panel of alien experts to discuss what you at home can do to get through this event. Can you hear me there? What should we all do? Well, I think we should all be kind to them. This might lead to an agreement and we can all leave, live peacefully together. Obviously that's completely foolish and we should treat them with violence and discrimination because they're ugly beasts. You two dim-witted idiots are both wrong, and I'll tell you what we should be doing. Lock yourself in the bathroom and grab all your weapons. What? That You're wrong. <laughs> yes, no, it is. Do it. No. Lock yourself in the bathroom, OP. Lock it. Lock yourself in the bathroom. Well, so much for the opinions of the experts. Are they right? Who can tell? I guess we'll find out soon enough. In the meantime, let's have a look at the mayhem happening up and down the country. Thanks, Alia. Let's have a look at what's happening out there. In Auckland, there's outrage as the aliens try and knock over the Sky Tower and use it as a space antenna for the spaceships. Keep away from the downtown area. Meanwhile, in Wellington, the railway station has become an alien transit lounge where they are relaxing in preparation for killing us all. Confusion in Canterbury, where aliens have formed a very strange partnership with the region cow community. And in Dunedin, creatures have been spotted rolling down the world's steepest street. The aliens are said to be extremely dizzy and should not be approached. Well, I'm going back to hide in my basement. Back to you, Ali and Athuli. Finally, we interview someone who claims they have had a close encounter with creatures from outer space. Our reporter Lara is with that person now. 
I'm here with Yanko, who says they were once abducted by aliens. Hello, and thank you for joining us today. This alien invasion must stir up some painful memories for you. What exactly were, uh, uh, sorry, what exactly are creatures from outer space really like? Well, they were green and slimy with, with six arms and only one eye. They looked like something from a nightmare. But luckily, as while they were poking, I managed to escape right after. <clears throat> As a psychologist myself, this sounds ridiculous, and in fact, I would suggest some counselling for you or anyone who has seen strange beings around. How has this experience affected you? Well, I've had night terrors ever since, and I'm too afraid to even go back to the netball court where I was abducted. Finally, Yanka, as a person of experience with extraterrestrials, what do you think we should be doing? I think they should be caught and killed immediately. <clears throat> well, that just sounds totally ridiculous. Well, thank you, Yanka, very much for your time. Back to the studio. Thanks, Lara. Well, I'm going to run home to my mummy, and I'm going to eat as many lollies as I can until I get sick, or the aliens will get me. Meanwhile, stay tuned for updates or follow our live stream to watch the end of humanity as it happens. Goodbye everybody. May these terrifying and foul-smelling aliens have mercy on us all. Kia kaha and we'll see you tomorrow. If there is one.